Falcons now. Home team Sunshine Coast Falcons hit first with a try to Lois Gerati in the opening 10 minutes following the rock infringement from SP Hunters skipper Ila Alu. Conversion missed and Falcons poked their nose in front with four points lead. Three minutes later, the Hunters fired back with a solo try to Moria Moria. The conversion was successful and PNG took over the lead six points to four. Both sides tighten up their defense. From then, try was hard to come by until before halftime. Tommy Moide cracked open the deadlock to score, giving his side 12 points to 4 lead. But it was not too long until the home side returned the favor with a narrow 12 to 10 margin before they headed into the sheds for the halftime break. Tries to Julius Jacopa and Trevor Solu in the first 20 minutes of the second half gave the Hunters 24 to 10 lead. This made it hard for the home side to catch up. Another try went to Solo Wane in the 70th minute. Three minutes later, Solo crossed the line for his second try and finally put the match to rest with 34 points to 10 victory. Performance in this match is one of the best the Hunters have put so far in their away games. They played more like a team. Their goal kicking has improved. Jamie Mavoko booted four goals out of five, while backup Trevor Solo converted one out of one attempt. The SPPNG Hunters are tenth on the points ladder after round 15. They host the seventh place Central Queensland Capras at the Santos National Football Stadium on Saturday.